Hey y'all, so you wanna see my apartment? So this is my apartment that I live, that I'm actually moving out of literally in one hour. So I shipped all my stuff to my new school, new place, and I figured you would wanna see where I live. Lived, because I'm moving out. Watch until the end to find out how much I paid for an entire year for this apartment. You will be shocked. All right, so let's come like walk in. Like, make sure you like when you walk in. All right, so this is the stairwell. So exciting, exciting. So when you walk in, wonderful. And then you enter through here. All right, so I was obviously cleaning. So let me see. So as you walk in, well, this is when I moved in here. It was a brand new apartment, brand new. So this is the living room space right here, living room. And then you have a nice couch right there for you. You think about Chinese spaces and living sets, living areas, it's that they just have this, this is their dining table, usually. I, it kind of, it's kind of low for me because I'm kind of tall. So this is, um, when I first moved in here, I asked them to put in a dining, like an actual living room set, like dining room set. So I asked them to put in a table, so they got one with some chairs and uh, yeah pretty simple and then when you go over here you have the fridge right there and then when you walk in you have the kitchen area right there a sink area there it's not the the sinks and the the tabletop heights tend to be very low in china for some reason so when you're washing dishes you literally like bending over all right, so then you have your cooking space here, which is pretty decent. It's standard in most Chinese places. This is really nice. This apartment I've stayed in, actually. So it's pretty cool. You have your cupboard space up there and more cupboard space down there and over here. Some nice. So, yeah, it's decent. Pretty decent. Pretty decent place. All right. Um, uh, so let me see what else is in the living room. So over here, it's where I would usually record my live stream. So I'll be sitting right here and I would usually have that curtain pulled this way and just to keep it simple, keep the background simple because I have these sort of busy cushions. So that's why I don't really show that. And then I, this is where my aloe planters for those who have been wondering and then these are my neighbors outside so the view isn't that spectacular this is just for drying so this is where you i would dry my clothes so when i first moved and before i i took the apartment this was actually not installed and they told me oh get a rack and dry your clothes i'm like uh no so i told them to install this for me and she, I don't think she was too happy about that. So, yeah, she installed that for me as well. I got some plants put into the apartment. I'm going to leave those here as well. They weren't very expensive, actually. So I'll leave those with the landlord. So this is the spare bedroom. So this is where I would usually store my luggage and stuff, though. But I shipped all that out today. There was not a cupboard when I first moved in, but this is the cupboard here now. Um, no, well, before I moved, I took the apartment as well. I told them to put in a put in cupboards. They didn't have cupboards in any of the bedrooms. So this is the bed. Um, this exercise bar is what I used. Uh, yeah, it's a simple room, simple spare bedroom. The beds, though, in China, they are so hard hard i tell you hard rock hard you would be surprised by it when you move in okay and then that's my luggage here that i'm trying to pack and then this is the extra bedroom sorry this is my bedroom this is where i slept yeah simple bedroom this is also where i used to film some of my videos i don't film 
yeah so this is where i filmed some of my videos so it had some nice natural lighting here i got plants like these for some air purifying and then um yeah my bed so on this bed i actually had to put down something to make it soft but yeah but standard bed in china hard as a rock and then cupboards that's it pretty simple very simple bedroom very simple bedroom very nice floors no complaints there and then this is the this is the bathroom the thing about chinese bathrooms as well is that they have what do you call it the toilets shower everything laundry in one all three in one so that's so exciting about chinese bathrooms and they are decent size can't really complain about that decent size bathrooms and i'm not really dressed properly for this so my nope all right so that's it for and then you back out and you're back into the living space yeah, for those who wanted to see my apartment or went on an apartment tour, you know, just was nosy and you want to see where I live in. This is where I live in, all you. This is the ting self. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is where I live. And uh, most apartments, well, I don't know, so far where I've lived, the, the apartment, apartments are two bedrooms. And uh, depending, well, so far, the first place I lived, the school provided the apartment. This apartment was 3200 US for the whole year. And then the previous apartment was uh, 2000 US for the whole year. And really nice apartments, brand new apartments. So this one, no one else has lived in it but me. Um, I was the first tenant who ever lived here. And then the one before that I lived before, lived in before. Um, I think the landlord lived in it briefly. And this one, no, I was the very first one. So I don't know if all apartments are like this in China. I will find out when I move again. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. What else you want to see about China. What you see in China. Let me know. See you soon. Bye.